Okay guys, just a quick video here. Uh, this is a M72 pump out of a Chrysler 360 Magnum engine to be specific. So um, I just went in here and ported it a little bit. Um, not too, didn't get too crazy I don't think, but there's a lot of casting and, and overhang and, and just rough edges and it was really, really sharp. Um, all these edges were really, really sharp. After I ported it, I uh, went over everything with 220 sandpaper. And also the gears, the, the rotor in there, um, took some 220, rounded all the sharp edges. And I drilled this out two sizes bigger and imported that as well. And it, it is smooth all the way through. And, um, yeah, I do this just to take care of the, the sharp edges and mainly uh, cavitation and aeration of the fluid. Here's the other parts. I just basically take some 220, hold the uh, sandpaper in my hand, just kind of round off all the, all the sharp edges. And, you know, I go over this, make sure that the sharp edges are gone from this uh, again 220 I make sure the surface is flat I 220 this I just got done running it and it at very low speeds it's just it I mean it works really great it works phenomenal I got a lot of volume coming out of the pump at low rpms and um, maybe I can set something up all right let's see if this works here I got the uh, phone standing up on an intake valve, so. So there it is. Uh, it works, and that's you know I haven't even uh, torqued that down yet, and I'm just kind of holding the uh, relief valve in with my pinky there. I'm going to get a plug, plug that off. Of course, you know tighten up the spring just a little bit, but just stock volume pump. I poured them, throw them in the vehicle, and I really see no need for a high volume oil pump unless you're going to be running like really loose clearances and. And just running really thick oil or something but yeah um, that's what I do now yeah, here's the intake valve there's the lapping holes pretty big it's out of a tugboat so <laughs> all right guys later